All right, so I'm gonna show you how to uh, go ahead and replace a fuel filter on a 2002 Ford Focus. It's a dual overhead cam. All right, and the fuel filter should be the same on all of them. So you'll see the gas tanks right here. So I jacked up the car and you wanna always make sure you have a jack stand. You never trust a jack. Um, so this is the fuel filter right here. So I got the car jacked up. And we'll be able to get in here and see. Okay, so we need to disconnect that line and disconnect this line. All right, so you can tell by the lines here. Let me see if I can get a better angle on it. All right, you'll see that little clip right there. So what we want to do is get a flathead screwdriver and push that up so it will release the clip. And we'll do that on both sides here. Um, and what you want to do is make sure you have a catch pan to catch the fuel because there will be slight fuel coming out. Not too much to freak out about, but enough. There we go. Alright, so then you'll see the clip. See how it kind of popped out up top? Alright, so now we'll be able to pull it off. Alright. There's clip number one. All right, and I always notice how the fuel filter looks because there's always a flat spot and then a rounded edge, and that's where you know which way the fuel is going to flow through the filter. Anyways, you can see right there, there's a bracket and there's a bolt. Um, there's a bolt behind it that you can see the, the socket on. It's an 8 millimeter. Um, that's once you get both lines off, then the fuel filter will, will drop off. All right, so here's the new fuel filter. Here's the old one. All right, so we're going to go going to do is loosen this guy and then we're going to replace it the same way with this one so you'll see this one has an arrow um, this one has an arrow as well right there so that's what you'll be using um, so you can put it in so the arrow should be pointing towards you towards the passenger side of the car and um, that means that's where it's going to be flowing all right, so now that we got the new filter in with the clips on, you wanna make sure you push them on all the way and then try pulling them off to make sure that they are completely on. All right, so we did that. And then what we're gonna do now is now that the fuel filter is all dried up, you're gonna to have to prime the fuel pump. So how you do that is you'll uh, turn the key on to accessory only, just like this, five times. And you can kind of hear it back there. Now, make sure there's no leaks. There's no leaks, so you're done. Now, let's do a fuel pump on 